What's up guys? In this video, we're gonna go over an exciting problem. Can Tesla solely transition the entire world to sustainable energy? How long will this take? How many batteries will need to be produced per year to, transition, to make this transition? And is it ultimately possible for Tesla to do this? Let's get the video started. Like, what I wanna do is explore what, what is needed, what, what's really needed to transition the world to sustainable energy. Is this actually possible? Is it something that is within the ability of humanity to actually do, or is it some insurmountable, super difficult, impossible thing? Um, it's not. So with 160 million power packs, you can transition the United States. When this video came out, the size of the Tesla mega pack was actually only 100 kilowatt hours. So now that the Tesla battery pack is closer to four megawatt hours, so it's almost 40 times in size since 2015. So for this problem, him saying that it's, how much do you say? 160 million mega packs, you could divide that by 40, that now equals four million mega packs could supply the entire United States with sustainable energy. Let's do this math. We have 16 times 10 to the 12, which is the 16 terawatt hours, divided by four times 10 to the six, which equals the four megawatt hours. These are all in watts because it would be 16 trillion watts divided by the 4 million watts, which is in each uh, mega pack, equals 4 times 10 to the 6, which is 4 million mega packs to transition the whole uh, United States to sustainable energy. How uh, long would it take for Tesla to do this? They've talked about by 2030, let's look at these numbers, doing 3 terawatt hours of batteries per year, I believe half can go to the cars. If you have 1.5 terawatt hours divided by 75 kilowatt hour battery pack, that equals 20 million cars per year. So in the 20 million cars was their total goal for um, cars produced per year. And then if we go to half of that into uh, these power walls or mega packs, half of them producing 1.5 terawatts of out, uh, terawatt hours into the batteries, a four, mega, four megawatt hour battery pack, you can create 375,000 mega packs per year. So it would take approximately at this rate, 10 years to transition the entire United States into sustainable energy. Okay. With 900 million, you can transition the world. You can basically make all electricity generation in the world uh, renewable. So, and primarily solar, which will be, so. Uh, it's a little bit off because, like we talked about earlier, the mega packs, the power pack size has increased uh, substantially. So we do 90 terawatt hours, which is 90 times 10 to the 12, um, divided by four times 10 to the six, these are, this is in watts, equals 22.5 times 10 to the six, which equals 22.5 million mega packs to transition the world, which is a pretty insane number. Um, right now at their new Lathrop factory, they're producing about 10,000. So you need a lot more. Like I said, 1.5 terawatt hours isn't gonna be enough. They're gonna need to be doing closer to probably five mega, uh, terawatt hours of just battery storage per year to transition it fast. At that pace, doing five terawatt hours divided by uh, 90, that would take 18 years to, tra to transition the entire world to sustainable energy just for its electricity. So now let's look at total energy, that's including electricity, transportation, and heating, and how much that would take. And then <laughs> going a little further, if, if, if you wanted to transition all transport and all electricity generation and all, all heating to renewable, you need approximately two billion power packs. Now that may seem like an insane uh, number, and, I, and I'm very tempted to do the, you know, the, the billion thing, but <laughs> <laughs> restrain my hand. <laughs> Doing this next calculation, the numbers are a little bit off in there, but we'll stick to the 200 uh, terawatt hours to transition the whole world. It's obviously gonna increase over time and even as we get into 2030, 2040, it could even double, if not more than that, with population growth. Um, so we'll do 200 times 10 to the 12th, 
You could do 20 times 10 to the 13th or two times 10 to the 14th, whatever you want to do it, divided by four times 10 to the sixth, that's the mega packs. And you get 50 times 10 to the sixth, which equals 50 million mega packs to transition the entire planet, all energy, that's transportation, heating, all electricity, 50 million mega packs to transition the entire planet to sustainable energy. How long would it take for Tesla to make 50 million mega packs? Point of the future, let's take a look. On this equation, we're doing um, hypothetical. In 2030, they're doing 1.5 terawatt hours per year for um, just for the mega packs. You divide that by the four uh, megawatts uh, megawatt hour battery packs equals 375,000 uh, mega packs produced per year. Divide that or 50 million, which is the total needed for all sustainable energy for the entire planet. So 50 million divided by the 375,000 produced per year, it would take 133 years to transition the entire planet just by Tesla by itself at that 1.5 terawatt hours produced per year not really feasible obviously they're not going to be the only one that's doing it but i want to see how what would it need to be a more realistic number for that let's just do four terawatt hours of batteries per year how long would this take so at four terawatts just used for the power packs or megawatt mega packs you do four times 10 to the 12 divided by four times 10 to the sixth that equals 1 million mega packs produced per year if they use four terawatt hours just for the power packs. And at the 50 million power packs needed uh, to transition the whole world, it would take 50 years at that rate, which is honestly pretty damn good, but let's make it a little quicker. So let's look at the most, at the fastest possible way Tesla could do this. Let's say if they can grow to the point where they're producing 10 terawatt hours of batteries per year, which is insane. Right now they're doing about 200 gigawatt hours, so they would need to close to 50 times their battery production. Let's say, all right, so we do 10 times 10 to the 12, it's 10 trillion watts or 10 terawatt hours of batteries divided by the mega pack size, which is four megawatt hours, which is four times 10 to the sixth. They could produce 2.5 million mega packs per year so like we said earlier, it takes 50 million mega packs to transition the entire world, heating, electricity, transportation, 50 million mega packs to store that energy, divided by the 2.5 million produced per year with this 10 terawatt hour um, plan, it would take 20 years for Tesla to transition the entire planet. How long do you think it'll take for Tesla to get to being producing 10 terawatt hours per year? Who knows, like I said, they're looking to do three terawatt hours in 2030. If they can grow at a similar pace, let's just say by 2035, they could do this. So a realistic goal could be by 20, and who knows, they could be keep growing from there, so it could be faster. But if they could produce 10 terawatt hours of batteries per year by 2035, they could complete the goal of transitioning the whole world to sustainable energy by 2055. And of course, by then we're looking at numbers from 2015 of how much energy is used per year. So it could double, it could triple. So that's just gonna extend the amount of time, but it's just cool to kind of look at these numbers to see, is it even feasible for Tesla to do it? So just looking at these numbers, Tesla could possibly do it by the 2050s. Um, that's why I really believe that this is the beginning of Tesla growing as a company. In summary, obviously I don't think Tesla is gonna be the only one in this space. We have other battery companies. There's some companies out in China that are looking to do the same thing. Elon does not wanna be the only company doing this. His main goal is just to transition the whole world towards sustainable energy. Um, th I think this video kind of showed it is possible. It's gonna take a lot. Uh, right now they definitely do, the world does not produce enough batteries to do this. That's why it's super exciting when you see Tesla's getting into lithium refinement. Lithium is one of the most abundant uh, elements in, our, er, in the Earth's crust. So the issue is refining the lithium to be battery grade. 
So it's going to take some time. Um, it's going to take many, many years. Like I said, 2050 is would be the goal for Tesla to do it by itself. Obviously, with the help of other companies, it could be it could come a little bit faster. But it's just a super exciting future um, for Tesla. That's why if you just look at them as a car company, I think you're totally wrong. This year will be one of the uh, biggest years in advancements for Tesla's energy side with the new laughter factory. They're looking to produce close to 10,000 uh, mega packs per year. Uh, they showed on Twitter that they are also producing these mega packs in Berlin, most likely in Austin as well. So we have a super exciting future for Tesla, uh, getting into refinement, the energy sector. Yeah, so I, I hope that this was a cool video for you to see the numbers. Um, they've been talking about this for a while. I'm just trying to show people that Tesla is not just an automotive company and has so much to grow and their vision for the future is one of the biggest plans of any company ever. And it's just super, super exciting. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Sean on the Tesla Hyperbowl. See you guys next time.